So you want to create a looped video for a trade show or a museum or a shop, but you don't want to use DVD because the quality is not good enough. If you've got a lovely big LCD screen, then you want to create HD, possibly 4K, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, most modern displays have a USB port where you can plug a memory stick in and you can play your content. If you're lucky, you'll have a screen that also has an infinite loop feature. But what I found with the screens that I use is that that loop feature is tucked away in a sub menu and that's not very helpful when you've sent a screen out to a show and you're expecting somebody running the show to also figure out how to find that loop feature. So we're gonna find a better solution. So here I am in Adobe Premiere and this is the sequence that I want to turn into a loop. So one way of doing it is you could nest the sequence into what would be your loop sequence. So I could copy that and just keep pasting it until I have a long video and encode it. Now that would work, but the problem with that is it's going to take forever to encode and there's a better way. So I found this really neat program called mp4 joiner you can download that for free from mp4joiner.org there's a mac and a pc version i'll put a link to that in the description area and programs don't get much more simple than this all you do is go to add video and include all of the videos that you want in your loop now because we're looping the same video we have to add as many repetitions of the video as we want in our loop now this might seem like a really long-winded process, but this is still quicker than encoding that long video. Just keep adding until you get the duration that you want. Now I said eight hours, but you can see this timer here says four. I'm just gonna stop there because you get the idea that gives you your total duration here. And you've also got your file size so you can keep an eye on whether it's gonna fit on your memory stick. And once you've got the duration that you want, you just click on join and click save. It just creates the file and it doesn't take that long. Now, if you have any problems with the encoded file, and the reason I say that is because I created a file that played back fine on the TV, but when I opened it in Media Player Classic, I could play it, but I couldn't skip through the different sections of the video. And I solved that by coming to options and forcing it to re-encode the audio and the video. Say, okay click on join again and what you'll notice is it takes much longer obviously because it's having to re-encode it but it's still much quicker than if you were encoding from Premiere or Final Cut or Resolve. What a great program. I think I'm going to get in touch with Alex Thuring to say how about a feature where you add it once and then you choose how many times it repeats or you choose a total duration and it figures out that for you. So now that I've got my eight hour loop video, I'm gonna copy it over to my USB stick and I've got a USB three stick here, which means that that huge video is gonna copy over, probably take about a minute. Now you've gotta make sure you get a fast USB stick. That might be USB three or 3.1 or two, but avoid those USB two sticks because they're not that much cheaper, but they're gonna take forever to copy over and your time's worth more than that. Check out my other videos, hit subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.